In this video, we're going to explore the zoom drag options and specifically the border color and the border width options within the chart.js plugin for zoom. What we're going to do is if you want to zoom in, we want to highlight the color. We already highlighted our background color, but what we want to do as well is highlight the border color as well. Give the border color a specific color which stands out. So if we go here into zoom and first of all, let's look at it. If you can see here right now, we highlight it into red, but imagine we want to have this red border color as well. So how do we do this? Well, basically we have to use the border color option for command in the drag options. So what we're going to do is here, you can see here, this is the stroke color. And of course, if we are doing this, we need to have the border width as well, because the border width, width is set on zero, meaning the stroke width or the line, the width of the line is set on zero. And that would mean there is no border, even if you adjust the border color. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's copy this command here. And then what we're going to do is here, we're going to put a comma and we say border color. And then we say here, the border color will be basically this one here above. And then I, we can remove the alpha value or we can leave it in here and we just say 100% uh, opacity meaning that it's uh, uh, visible and not transparent itself. So if I do this right now, so it will be 100% visible. And if I refresh here and now I do my selection, you might notice there is no border at all. There's nothing at all to explore. And the reason why is of course, we have no border width yet. So we need to indicate the border width as well. And the border width, now if you do one pixel and now we refresh and select, you can see now we get this nice red border matching very much with our background here or with our border bars. And this works exactly as we want. So this is a way to use this, especially with your branding colors, you can use it to create a far more nicer way. And with this, you highlight also specifically what you're going to zoom in on. However, you do see that it sometimes creates some unpredictable events, which I cannot explain yet. Although most likely it is grabbing certain values or it's going somehow back in our, in our zoom. So if we go back here, and then we zoom this and what happened? We go back. Yes. Yellow and then blue. As you can see, we're jumping somehow back. Why this is, I cannot explain it, but most likely it will give you an indication of what you're zooming in and what you will see. And apparently that's what it's currently seeing. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in chart, yes, check out in the description box, the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.